All right guys, so like I said earlier, we're gonna be doing the uh, hydraulic hood support rods. So I've already opened these to look at it. Um, I don't want to show you everything that's in here. So I guess- Ooh, we'll, should I hide it? I can pull them out real quick. Oh! Oh shoot, I showed them, bro. All right, so oh. <laughs> these are the uh, support rods. I guess there's new brackets, but they come with instructions. I think it'll be pretty straightforward. It looks like it's just gonna be a couple bolts, so yeah, it uh, shouldn't be too bad. It's yeah, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll tear into these, and then uh, we'll update you guys in a minute. What'd you just say? So, pretty much every 370Z does not have hydraulic hood supports. It's all the little hinges with the hood drop. But like, yeah. it's a sports car, and then my 2010 F150 has hydraulic hood, which is a piece too. Really? Hey, peep the wheels in the back. I won't show them too hey, much. Your, oh. tr your truck was a piece. Too. Uh, hey, it was. I'll admit. It, it. And it was you a Ford. It, <laughs> I'm like the biggest supporter of Ford, but I also know when like a Ford is a piece. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, you gotta take the good with the bad. Like, you can't just always go. talk good about your own car. You gotta be able to like. Crack Dude, I have. Stuff. I've had no problems with my Mustang now. Not yet. Not one problem with that thing. It so does make oil pan. Oh, yeah. this dude. This dude. <laughs> cracked, no, no. This dude cracked his oil pan on lowering springs. You know why? Be you know why? You don't I know how it? to angle your car. Because he gave me the wrong directions. So we pulled into a school zone, and there was a cop sitting right there. So I got a little nervous, and I don't even know why, because I wasn't doing anything bad, and I didn't see the speed bump, and I cracked it, and it's all his fault. Thank you. Well, along with that story, I'll give you some credit. I don't yeah, remember. give me some money for that dang no, $700 bill, bro. I don't remember the name of the high school, but this high school had the biggest speed bumps bro, they were like I've mountains. ever seen in my entire life. They were like, like mountains. Bigger than like apartments, like <laughs> anywhere. Like these speed bumps were ridiculous they were for ridiculous. no reason. So, I don't know. I probably would have just drove, driven around. And it was dark. And it was dark. But and I had like three people in the car. The music was playing. There was a cop right there. Like, yeah, but like there I have my like reason. Nobody else in the entire parking lot, so you could have. All right, you know what? we're done with this. OEM hood prop rod. Remove the plastic pop rivet from both the brake and battery cover trim, which would be on the other side. Brake and battery cover trim. So take off these plastic pieces. Don't break them, bro. Here, I gotta fix that. Does that mean this hole? That light. I think it means that whole entire big thing. Let me see. I think it means Ooh, that. It is, it is very dark. Oh, just broke it's your lip. <laughs> I just kicked your lip with my boot. I'm sorry, bro. There we go. Pop clip removal location. Ooh. Remove the factory hood prop rod and associated hardware from the vehicle. Slowly close the hood by hand. Do not slam the hood. Well, no shit. Hey. Oh, I didn't know you were Don't. recording. Don't freaking say the shit, movement bro. movement of the hood and check for any binding of the hinges, hood struts, and so on. Once fully closed, we open the hood. All right. Well, we found out we got to jack uh, John's car up, and we found out where these bolts are going to go. The only problem that we're running into now is this car is too freaking low for the low-profile jack to fit under it. So we're going to have to put wood blocks under there, and he's going to have to drive up on them. Gang, gang. Um, I, I mean, you know your car's low when a low profile jack is still not, like, not gonna work. That is ridiculous, bro. Like, you should not, uh, just some extra work. All right, we're gonna get this done and we'll give you guys an update. Um, he's jacking this side up. So now, basically, the only reason we're jacking it up is we have to fit our hands in down here to tighten the bolt that's gonna go in the hood. Um, so it requires us to jack it up so we can access the fender wells. The piece, you, it goes, you have to go in through the fender liner. So, and my car's on uh, BC Racing coilovers and it's lowered, so you can't fit your hand underneath there without raising it. Unless it's jacked up. Yeah. And we can't jack it up unless we put the wood planks underneath. So that's great. All right, so we figured it out. We actually don't have to take the uh, fender liner out. It's going to be right there. This focuses. Uh, we just gotta reach our hand under there and tighten it out on both sides, and then after that, we can attach the actual hood prop. Hood prop to this, and then it'll the bracket goes up there. So this you, is very dark. Um, can you hold that? Yeah. Time out. See 
see if it fits on there. All right, so once you go through the fender liner and you tighten that nut onto the studs right here, um, you're gonna attach this end on there and it comes with these uh, tiny little metal rings. There's two holes that goes through and then you flip it around and it locks in place. That's so that this can't come off of that little hinge. So now we're going to very carefully, if you could shine the light up here, um, undo these two nuts. We're going to put the new bracket underneath it, tighten the nuts back on, and then do the same thing and attach that to there. So I would pretty much just be the mirror on the other side. I should be wearing safety glasses, but I can't really see, so oh well. So this bracket goes like that and then the top of the rod goes on there and it just clicks into place so Michael if he is able to help me he's just going to hold the hood just for support and not block the camera. Make sure you don't smack your wrench against the fender of your car and scratch the paint like I did. This car has been scratched many times. Yeah. If this video eventually makes it and we get 500,000 subscribers and we make enough money after being monetized, I will paint the entire car. Wow. Bro, I can't afford a brand new paint job. It's like seven grand. Bro, I could do that. You can paint a car? Yeah. Alright, bet. I'll spray paint that shit myself. I'll buy a $500 car and you will spray paint the entire thing. And if it looks good, you can spray paint my Z. Alright, bet. So you take the two nuts off of the factory hinge and you put the bracket underneath it and then you're just going to re tighten it back on there. Just like that, and then this. Can you lower it a tiny bit? Is that good? Should be. Raise it up a little bit. That should be it. Um, we now are going to very lightly just lay this down and make sure we sit on the top of the toolbox. So 
So with both the rods installed, it definitely supports the weight of the hood. Um, Michael, you want to take the camera off? Yeah, we want that. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. So basically, we're letting it letting it down gently just to make sure that it doesn't uh, hit on anything. And it is raised a little bit on the side. <laughs> Maybe if I trim the plastic down a little more, the struts will sit a little bit lower. Yeah. So sit flush. I mean, it's not terrible. You can kind of see like the space he's talking about right yeah. there. We still have to put all the plastics and everything back in, but true. The latch should hold it from flying open. Oh. Dude, if that lash wasn't on there, that hood would freaking pop. Would have gone like, boom. <laughs> it just flies off. And there you guys go. That is the Z1 Motorsports hydraulic hood prop. So, definitely. Yeah, what? I said it's definitely a convenience, especially yeah, like. It's a lot nicer. Now you can take that freaking piece of crap out of there. I might keep it there just, just to, in case. Yeah. <laughs> Never know. For whatever reason, if the things break or whatnot, I don't yeah. think they should, but that should be fun. I'm what? sure if you had a carbon fiber hood and it was... Oh, dude, that thing know, would pop. That yeah, would go, oh my gosh. Weight reduction. Weight but, reduction. Um, or if you just had like a rusted out hood, it'd probably do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, true. I'm going to uh, put all the plastic pieces and everything, all the miscellaneous stuff back on. Lower down. Give it off the jack stands, and then me and Michael are probably going to go to uh, a car wash and spray them off. So, because they've been sitting here for weeks, yours have been sitting in months, storage for yeah. months. Mine's been in storage. Let's see, I bought my truck in November, so I think it's been in storage. I got it, I got it, it was in the shop for uh, part of the ignition coil broke off in the cylinder, so that was in the shop for a while. And Nissan then, problems, and then. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, so how long has it been in storage for? Since November. 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 Mine has been in about Since a month, so it's not as dirty, but... Yeah, so we're going to go to the car wash. He might take some footage of us cruising up there. Um, so, yeah, uh, I think that concludes this video. So, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And uh, Until next time. Yeah, see you.